Welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 2. Today we are stepping away from Rob's Realism mod and we are loading up the Rising Sun mod. The Rising Sun mod focuses on um, the Pacific Theater, as you can probably tell by the name. Mostly Japan, but also all the other factions in Eastern Asia that was part of uh, World War II, so to speak. So we've got the entire... Uh, Chinese Republic, so to speak, and all the sub-parties, the communists, the nationalists, the uh, jingoists, and everyone. Um, and the leading Chinese party at the time, so to speak, that wanted to unite all of the uh, different uh, parties into one republic it was called Kuomintang or Kuomintang, and they were the ones who led China in the war uh, against the, the Japanese since the start of the war in July 1937. Now, the war practically went on until uh, the end of the empire, so to speak, and that would be the Japanese empire, of course, and its fall in 1945. But there were a few stalemates and a few treaties, treaties were signed, a few ceasefires were signed as well. Well, uh, where some territories swapped hands, so to speak. But we're gonna focus on earlier stages of the conflict here as the Japanese army are attacking the Chinese positions here, somewhere near the border. Oh, it's gonna be one hell of a firefight. Now, what's also different in. Oh, jeez. What's also different in this mod is that the firefights do tend to last longer, which is really, really, really nice. Rob's is a very deadly and uh, realistic and accurate mod, so to speak. But uh, this gives me more of a vanilla feel, so to speak. Let's we'll see if we can get the machine guns to turn around problem. I don't know what's, what's wrong with these guys. Like, you gotta turn that gun around, boys. What has happened to this gun? Wait a minute, pause. Like, I've never seen this occur before. The thing is turned fucking full Transformers. And it's, it's turned upside. I've never seen this before. This has never happened. I've I've run this scenario at least sixty times today. It takes hours to prepare this. All the scripting, everything I've done. And the one time I'm happy with the start of the recording when I don't sound like a moron. I've I haven't got a speech impediment and I'm not going off topic like I always do. Trust me, in my previous recordings I started talking about people up in the north and their, their massive stashes of alcohol in garages. That was like just a story uh, when I visited a mechanic and had a garage with like 48 billion fucking cans of beer. But the one time it fucking fuck, fuck you! Get the fuck out of here! You know what? You're, you, you know what? You, you spend the rest of the battle out there. Boom. I'm replacing you. Fucking assholes. I'm like, I was wondering what the fuck is wrong with the gun. See? Comrades. You've got a, uh, yeah, this one's made in Switzerland. The other one was made in China or something. Goddamn upside down fucking, never seen that before. God damn it. All right, we're continuing. And it should work. Perfect. All right, what's going on here? Japanese assault. We've probably not stopped it. They're still, they're still going. Um... Okay, so one truck and tank drove past the little um, little checkpoint down there, and they stopped up here. So we've got one tank that parked on the hill, and the infantry here will be unloading and running down to the barricades down there to reinforce. So this was just a little front party, like one platoon. We've got a platoon commander back here. A few of these uh, light tanks opening fire. It's very cool looking. It's, it's visually quite nice. I also added a FX mod uh, that adds some cool effects to the experience. This tank's gonna catch on fire. Some of the Chinese infantry's gonna counterattack. Supported by that static machine gun. Oh boy. Don't get overzealous now. Oh, huge explosion. Truck goes down. That cannot be used. Oh, a gun flew past the screen as well. That's the, that's the Diplex curse. Whenever I hit that record button and start button at the same time, some, just the weirdest shit happens. Things you won't see anywhere else or anytime else. It's like the night at the museum. The, the game just comes to life in a weird way. Have a few more tanks arrived? I feel like numbers have increased. Another platoon of infantry has arrived as well to reinforce the attackers. And I think they'll be able to push back the Chinese counterattack on the side. It wasn't much of a counterattack. It was, it was just them saying, "Hey, hey, hey, what are you doing? Trying to, trying to take our land? No, no, no. Get back with you. Get back with you, huh? And uh, I, I think it went, eh, not, not great. 
Uh, the Japanese are gonna forget about them and focus on the center here. This is where the prize is. And another instance of stupidity. Why would this machine gun crew leave the static machine gun? Get back on it, or I will execute you myself, personally. Or just throw you off the map. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll expel you. Yes. Anyway. Plenty of artillery dropping here. Jeez, Christ. Oh. I think some of the troops back here are forced to retreat. If we can't hold the, the open ground here, we can most likely and hope to hold the second line back here. We've got some reinforcing artillery. One of the two tanks that survived the, the ambush down there at the, the road moved up here to take up fire precision. So this is a T-26, I believe, or T-28 Chinese variant that was commonly used by the Chinese at the time. So um, they had a mix between some Whippet variants, like, you know, the World War One tank, and they had a few Russian designs as well. And they, they started, you know, getting into armor production at the, the time of the, the outbreak of the uh, Japanese invasion and whatnot. So they weren't completely behind, despite the fact that the Japanese just steamrolled them early on, but then obviously came to a stalemate. Oh, boy. We've got some more Chinese reinforcements arriving under my nose. Um, I'm a little confused to ask what's going on. Um, another tank arrived. Oh. Okay, this game is playing Halloween tricks with me, and it's not even Halloween, right? So, okay, all right, to, to prove that I'm wrong here and that I'm not freaking out, I gotta show you this, guys, wait. Yeah, no, I gotta show you this, okay? Look, there's a, there's a truck here and a tank here. And down here, there's a, a destroyed truck and a tank, right? You can see how that makes sense. So there's two, two, two stayed and two went. On the other side, I copied that layout, obviously scripted it differently, and I sent a tank here, and I sent a truck there, and that makes sense, kind of like to, to, to mirror the, the layout on this side. And then the, the other two tanks, and, and or the other tank and truck was meant to go down here, but there's already been a tank here. A tank has come in before, gotten itself destroyed, and is standing here somehow, burning, and a truck here has also been destroyed, so I don't know if a tank just magically duplicated itself and went here again. Like, there's only meant to be two tanks on this side, but there's three. Where did it come from? How did it get here? And how did it... What's going on? He, he looks as confused as I am. God damn. Weird. Seriously spooky. Hopefully the rest of this battle will act accordingly and behave. This is an historical battle. This is a historical channel. <laughs> Behave. <laughs> Behave, please. God damn it. Weird. Look at the storm of Japanese. Sorry for going off topic there, but uh, broken broken machine guns and, and duplicating tanks. Wait, wait, oh, shit. We've got, we've got a burning man over here. That was cool, though. If I would have restarted the scenario, I would most likely not have caught a man burning. And another truck. Uh, <coughs> I have no idea what's going on. I don't think these two were here at the start. I need to go back to the start of the recording and see if I could catch a smoking tank and a destroyed vehicle here previously. But I think the truck and tank that just arrived was meant to go there at this time. I, I can't remember. But on the other hand, we have the second pair on this left side. They arrived probably at the same time as that truck and tank that then got destroyed. So why several minutes later would there be just a hysterical addition to it? I I am fucking clueless. But hey, that's more action, more tanks. Maybe the game said, hey, you know what, boys? I need some more tanks. I need some more tanks, man. I need some more tanks. So, um... Well, there they are. And more infantry. Not sure it'll stop the uh, Chinese invasion, you know? Not sure it'll hinder it. But uh, we will find out. We certainly will. I'm not lying or, or anything. I probably will be able to run this scenario over and over again 
a million times and we will not have duplicates or broken machine guns but it's the time that i'm happy with the recording it happens this is super natural i don't believe in ghosts but i believe in in men of war spookiness editor spookiness we've got a battery back here that's just opening up serving some uh duck sauce Right now they're not firing. I think they let off a cool salvo before, but uh, they're holding fire now. They're waiting for the Japanese to get even closer. They've gotten stuck around the, the wood here a bit. The Japanese have wood. That's for sure. Maybe they're waiting more armor. We've got some more tanks rolling up. That's a nice sight. That's a nice sight for Sorai. And uh, all the Chinese armor has been dealt with here in a in a mess. Some infantry are still trying to hold the sandbags around here. But you, you're noticing, right, that the battles feel longer. They've got more depth to them. And, and, and Rob's is a multiplayer mod. This isn't really a multiplayer mod. And when it's multiplayer, you got to have more effective combat, you know. It's got to be speedier. But this is great for the cinematic purpose. Uh, is this gun holding still? Yes, there we go. And I think the battery back here is going to open up in a beautiful barrage. All three guns. Oh, look at that. At least one of them. Armor did arrive. Did it get passed up here? No, I do think they've... I'm not sure which of these tanks are destroyed. I see a track down on this one. But the rest should be functional. We'll see if the Japanese pour some uh, counter-artillery on the uh, Chinese positions back here. I think it would be uh, needed, so to speak. Oh, look, it's a train. What next? Is this train going to duplicate as well? I'm just waiting for it. I coded all this. I made sure this wouldn't happen. Oh, jeez. We've got... Yeah, we're taking artillery fire. Jeez. Let's send our uh, troops to the front line, our conscripts. Oh, boy. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Where do we send our men? I guess we send them to the front line, right? The Japanese are regrouping. Okay. Cool. Send some inside the station. Just to be sure we're okay on that. And we'll send some to the right here. We're still holding the... Ah, oh, this used to be a mortar trench. It's just a trench now. And uh, more of those lighter tanks are moving in. God damn it. Look at the train empty up with all the infantry running out. That's beautiful. We just deployed uh, two strong platoons here. That might be able to... That might be enough to push back the infantry here. With all that artillery support back there. This is turning into a pretty, pretty yummy experience. Got that yum yum sauce here. No. Oh. You know, retrospectively, I'm, I'm still happy with the recording, despite the, the break of immersion. You know, throwing a machine gun out the map and witnessing uh, mysterious twins of the the reinforcements here. I'm still happy with the action. You gotta, you gotta vary things up all the time, you know? I can be stiff six days a week, you know? Not that I'm entirely stiff, but you know what I mean. As soon as I see someone over the age of, like, 30 watching my videos or some military historian and stuff, you know, I get a lot of them, the history guys, you know? Uh, I mean, I, I'm, an, I'm a history guy myself, too, but I'm still young enough to be, to be, you know, to be dumb and shit, but um, it always makes me like, oh, shit, gotta stiffen up. Like, oh, can't make a weird joke. I'm seeing all the faces of all my older watchers watching this, and I'm like, what would they think if I made a poop joke? I never make poop jokes, that's a bad example, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and it's a, in situations like that, it kind of just makes my makes my, uh, my uh, uh, spine a little straighter, like my back straightens up. <laughs> I just get like the salute spasms. Of, Ooh, sir, 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 reporting for you, sir. Looks like a dab, except you're just doing it to your head. That's the new thing. Not d d dab on the haters, salute on them. You know, you just do, <laughs> S salute really, oh, really quickly. Oh shit! Oh, we're going interdimensional. I think my 
sensitive. What is going on right now? My mouse sensitivity changed too. Look at this. What is going on? What is going on? How did it change? Look, it reset itself. That's more Japanese armor is entering the field. Hey, train. You've got guns back here. Why are you not using them? Afraid of the loud noise it makes? Trust me. this That's where the good bit is. There we go. Look at that. You can do it. Nice. Okay, let's move the train up a little bit. We've got uh, we've got more hostiles here on the left. Look at the artillery open fire, though. Battery fire! I want to see a triple. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. And then a third one. There's always someone missing out. I'm catching you guys lacking here. Okay, it looks like our infantry is put into a retreat as more Japanese armor slowly rolls up. We got a type. Is that a type 89? Type 87? Why couldn't people have designed tanks in, like, 1880? Like, that would have been cool, man. That would have made World War One real, real steampunk, man. So, there our train reinforcements are forced to push back, or pull back. Push back, though, is probably what the North Koreans say. It's part of their propaganda system. If we retreat, we always push back in battle. We never pull back or retreat, we push back. We assault in opposite direction. We're assaulting backwards. We're assaulting our own positions. Once again, I see a, an abandoned machine gun. Maybe the AI subconsciously know that these are bad luck. They'll turn upside down on you. They'll turn transformers just completely go off the board, off the charts, and go AWOL on you. And then, therefore, they abandon the machine guns. Now, that's almost the barrage I can get behind, but we are getting absolutely overrun here. A lot of our infantry is just retreating over the river, and I think that's a good idea. Should we take our pick and pack and go? Our pick and pack and go. Let's retreat the mortar. I'm in command here of the Chinese troops. Supreme commander. Hey. Listen, it, it won't... It might break on you, but it won't explode, okay? Let's open up on these guys. Come on. Come on, you can spin it, boy. It's not overly effective. I think you two with uh, your weapons on the ground is a more efficient weapon. While the machine gun's in a rhythm now. He's fallen for it. The rest of the train just left. They left the platform here. And they're going out of here. Okay, locomotive driver, get out too. We're, we're out of coals or something. We forgot the coal wagon. Oh, the Japanese, oh, wait, did our mortar get out? Mortar? Oh, there it is. No, no, dude. Don't push back. Don't push back. Let's advance left instead. I found us a new mortar pit. It's a very makeshift and it's not officially a pit. Oh, watch out guys. You don't want to get run over by mortar. This is like a battering ram. Alright, don't be so scared now. I gotta fucking put you guys in. There we go. Sorry about the swearing. Sorry about the swearing. Wait a minute. Why... I'll tell you later. You can't really notice it now. Yeah. This is the... Uh, weird. Alright, no, never mind. Never mind. I thought there was another glitch. I thought my men had duplicated. And then I realized we had... We had more uh, Chinese uh, soldiers and citizens and whatnot hiding back there in the temple area. And I thought, like, oh god, the, the wall, the wall de defense is duplicated as well. Oh shit. That's uh, Chinese efficiency. The, the positions are being overrun. And the, our citizens, our brave citizens here, don't have much but uh, a few uh, old muskets and uh, hunter's rifles and shotguns and lever action rifles and stuff to put up against them. But uh, they're doing their best. And I think the courage here is what really counts. Look at them holding. Oh, God. You guys got a Molotov cocktail? 
No. They're looking at it. They've never seen a tank before in their entire lives. I think they're more fascinated by it instead of... Look at that guy with the freaking Henry. Henry rifle down there. Man, he's balling. But the Chinese army is not coming to a halt. 600 men deployed here today. And uh, a lot of tanks as well. They destroyed the bridge, but... Um, whoever spent time and money on building this bridge probably shouldn't be mayor next year of this town because this river is literally one feet high. But, or deep. This is an inspiring defense. I want to make another Sino-Japanese Sino war um, because uh, I think Asians are underrepresented on my channel. <laughs> I just, just forgot I completely made a Japanese invasion of... Uh, not Asians, like, not Asians in, 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 in general. Just like, you know, Asia as a, as a faction. Or as, a, as a place, as a place. Not a faction. As a continent. I mean, we've done a... We've not done many battles in actual Asia, you know, so this is perfect. We usually stick to Europe, you know, the Eastern Front, Western Front, and uh, last week, just America. But um, look at the storm that is just getting over us here. Are they going to, they're going to, this tank's going to ride right. Come on, you guys, you guys, we, we, we will worship the same gods and stuff, don't we? Japanese and Chinese, like, come on. They're just going to run into our temple? Come on. Dude. Look at that officer. What's a more humiliating way to die than but just to get thrown it? Oh, he's gonna throw it back though. Oh jeez. They're shooting dust bullets at you. Get down. Cover your mouth. The smoke bullets will kill you. Oh, they're trying to patch up. This guy's on the outside here. Just trying to trying to survive. What a brave man. That officer might as well head up with his uh, Kai Gunto and do the do the final blow. What a... Oh, whoa! Surprise attack from the side. <laughs> Three uh, farmers here with some uh, antique weaponry. Now, that guy's actually got a bolt action. But this guy here is messing around with the brown best, man. I wouldn't be one to shot by that bullet would freaking bring down that wall if fired any closer, man. I, that's that's dangerous. They're gonna get out. The Japanese have conquered the area. What a bloody freaking fight! Let's take a look at casualties. And I'm at, I'm at the ultimate 2017 uh, issue here, where even if I if I make the Chinese yellow or Japanese yellow, I'll be I'll be marked a racist by anyone either. So you know, one's gonna have to be yellow. I guess uh, we'll make the the Japanese red in this case because they've got red on their flag. And, uh, yeah, so, for those of you who do not know, um, and who aren't following the, the discussion, uh, I've been called out for racist, because I marked Japanese casualties in yellow sometimes during my other previous Pacific battles. F fact of the matter is, only two colors exist in the game. And why should I care? Why should I be so precise to either have one red or yellow? Like, I'm just gonna click a button on my keyboard. It's one or zero. One, zero, one, zero, one, zero. What does it matter? All right, and usually, if number one players, which in this case are the Japanese, if they're remaining, they've got all their, look, they're all their white markings here. So if I click zero, I won't be able to see them and we'll still be able to watch casualties, right? That's why. So, in, uh, what a, just funny, 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 real funny, real, real clever. Anyway, uh, wow. So I do think the Japanese are still the kind of the losers in this battle, but uh, I guess they got more manpower to spare. China's been overrun, the train station's been overrun, and we had some weird glitches this game. But it was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the battle and the video, and I'll see you guys soon again. Ciao.